Well, howdy folks, it's a new day. Almost always a new day, in it? Well, I'm Max Stevens, I buy old records, trying out the, uh, oh, I guess you'd say the uh, test run of this uh, marvelous hang around my neck battery operated fan. I tend to overheat. Had the heat stroke once back in 01. Almost died from it, don't like the heat. Hence me going to Argentina during the summer months here. Nice and cold winter there. But enough of that prattle. I buy old records. I also buy old recording tape or get it given to me in mass quantities because I'll bulk erase it if there's nothing nice on it and then I'll reuse it in my old machines. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to go over here and see Crazy George and uh, he's over in uh, the Rowlett area where the men are men and the sheep are mighty nervous. I'm going to look at a bunch of recording tape that he's got in his storage shed before he gets carted off to the landfill. Well, I guess while I'm at it, we ought to chat just a bit. Uh, do a lot of my selling on Facebook. There's a couple of good selling pages. I'm an admin on uh, a couple of them, but one is 45 RPM buy, sell, trade, no junk, please, I think is the name of it. It's got a nice little cartoon devil picture. It focuses mostly on 50s and 60s, for the most part. Uh, rockabilly, hillbilly, rocking stuff, garage, blues, R&B, things like that. Great place, and it's a good place to either get hooked up with a long-time want or to sell off your short-term unwanted. I'm not sure if that's an accurate way to say it. Uh, also, too, there's my 78 RPM page, Max Hickabilly 78 RPM page. I guess that's the name. It's got a big old picture in the background of uh, Harmonica Frank's son, 78, of Rockin' Chair Daddy. It's a beautiful page. And it's a nice, cozy family. We uh, just do uh, 78s. That's it. And for a long time, I had banned doo-wop because there's certain sellers that get on every page and spam it with their low dollar but high price junk. Well, I'll allow some doo-wop now if you put it in list form. It's not my favorite kind of music, but if you got it to sell, yeah, go for it. Those are where you'll see my, my stuff for sale for the most part. Sometimes I sell on eBay, but that's primarily uh, pre-war 78s, whether it's blues, hillbilly, jazz, whatever. That seems to do the best there. I'm in the business of doing the best I can with what I have. And sometimes it ain't much, but when it is much, I want the best for it. Also sell privately. If you've got certain things you really need to have, uh, whether it's rare or common, let me know. If I dig it up, let's talk turkey. So, yeah, it's fun. Also, I'm admin of a uh, Sun Record group called Sun Records Forever. i got to say that forever on the end. It's a good group that uh, I've just started doing the admin work on. And this one deals with the original artists and uh, original Sam Phillips recorded songs from Sun Records and Related. And it's not the place for Elvis worship or putting up pictures of him in his jumpsuit in the 70s, etc. Or for new bands who are doing their psychobilly or modern country take on Sun Classics. Go elsewhere. This is strictly for Sun Records. Uh, you can put up reissues and things like that. As long as it's the original material, that's what matters. So anyway... Uh, Glad we had this talk. Now let's go look at a whole bunch of reel-to-reel -reel tape. Maybe I can also uh, find some records in the deal. Hope so. Okay, so we're here in George's lair looking at tons and tons and tons and boxes of, of tapes from the old seller's recording empire. That was a studio that did custom work. Much like Sam Phillips was doing with Memphis Recording Service. This guy was Dallas-based, I suppose and he would record anything. All recorded from sellers. And uh, he did a lot of rockabilly and hillbilly and things like that. George here has found tapes of cool stuff. Oh, 
he'll give me those for free and I don't blame him. But actually, he'll do stuff with them, which is good. Me, I'd probably just let them sit until they decompose, but then brag to people that I have them. Oh, that's cool looking. Psychology and Living, Merrimore Christian Foundation. Nice looking mic there, wow. Now I've got me a bunch of, well, tapes, and I got that guitar that was in the trash that we saw and stopped, that's another story. Ah, <sighs> well, let it be said, that old Mac has never turned down a whole bunch of reel-to-reel -reel tape that uh, somebody was fixing to throw out. A lot of it I'll have to discard. Some of that stuff when it gets ancient sheds, the oxide coating, and I'll probably have to clean it real good. But you know, that's good stuff. A lot of that 50s, 60s, uh, especially 3M, Ampex tape is really worthwhile. I'll use it for future Fredonia recordings with me and the In The Groove boys down in Buenos Aires. Uh, holler at me to get one of my new LPs. You won't be disappointed unless something doesn't meet your expectations in which you'll be disappointed. But uh, that doesn't happen too terribly often. Maybe if only ever, you know, maybe four copies out of five is all. So be good. I buy old records. I hope to uh, find more records a little later this week. Oh, today's my wedding anniversary. So I better beat it on home and uh, do that nice, lovey family thing well no love you with my wife thing but anyway ah let's see what awkward things i could say next week see you around howdy folks and welcome to beautiful balch springs texas i buy old records i'm max stevens and me and jesse lee we're going to go out and we're going to look for some records I want jesse to uh get into records to sell as he's tried a little bit of the uh, working for other people thing. And just like me, he's decided, man, that kind of sucks. I'd rather work for myself. He's a smart dude. He'll catch on real quick. So we're going to head out, do some local looking, maybe find some cheap albums he can flip. And that's a good thing. Well, my favorite book and record store went through a lot of stuff but found one that I like. The Marauders on Lee. We'll see what that is. Well, that was cool. I uh, looked up that record on Pop Psych and it has sold from $77 up to $405. More recently, it sold from the $150 to $200 range. And it's probably in VG shape. And uh, I'm happy about that. That costs 49 cents. Maybe I can buy more cool stuff with that money. Well, all right. Uh, I just remembered we need to drive to the house though for a bit. I'm always forgetting stuff. So we went into exactly one spot and found one good record about five miles from my house. And you know it's hot. So we're going to head it on home. A short trip, but a functional, good, profitable trip. <laughs> 